Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and full review of this SSA 21.5 inch large digital picture frame. The listing says it's coming with a Who Motion Sensor LCD advertising player is 1080p high resolution LCD AV HDMI input visa wall mount and so on. It's listed for around $350 on Amazon has a lot of good reviews but I still think the price is really high I mean we see even so, some higher prices but such large uh, digital photo frames it, they are not a new thing it's not really high tech we can get uh, displays in this size for uh, $100 or even below maybe $70 and then you add a small device and plate there and that you get a total price of maybe $150 so if you don't need something which is really in one piece, you can uh, create your own things which are much cheaper. But still, let's look into that and see what we get here. So the box is so huge, I cannot show you everything, but you get an idea how large the thing is. I take everything out and then I'm going to show you all the components, everything what you get. So here we are. It's actually larger than uh, I was expecting. Maybe it has a large frame. Yeah, it has quite some frame around here so here we have the screen and we can see yeah, it has quite some size when we measure the diagonal size it's exactly 21 uh, inches i would say from this corner to this corner here inside so read the uh, picture size but it has a huge frame i don't know why we need such a huge frame in 2021 Maybe it's just a very old screen or like a TV and this thing is really very, very heavy. There are definitely uh, screens which are more lightweight, maybe half of the weight of this one here. This is super heavy actually. If you want to hang this on the wall, I can tell you this is super, super heavy. The good thing is, yeah, we have input 100 to 240 volts. That's good. We have some buttons here in the back and here on the side we have the SD card, we have the uh, headphone jack which uh, probably nobody needs, we have an AV, we have USB, we have HDMI, we have DC input here. So probably you can use this just as a normal screen as well, like a computer monitor if you like. And here we get some instruction manual, it's quite large, user manual, 19 pages, everything in English and also warranty card. You can see there's a lot of explanation and description, everything. Yeah, I think it's not a bad thing. So here's the mount or at least a part of the mount and then we get much more here. So let's see what we get here. The power and uh, air power cable and some other thing probably for the mount. Don't ask me what it is. Here the remote control that's definitely needed and here even a USB stick. 32 gigabytes if you need that a few screws and more screws and that's it so i've been reading a little bit in the instructions manual and i have found two big disadvantages i mean it's uh, saying that you can only use a device like a USB or SD cards, USB sticks or SD cards uh, with up to 32 gigabytes of memory. I mean, you can easily buy uh, memory sticks with up to 256 gigabytes or even uh, larger for a small price in 2021. This is a little bit an outdated thing. And the other uh, almost like a bummer here is that they are saying that uh, you have to store this in folders, your pictures or videos or whatever you have and every folder can only contain up to 999 photos. I mean technically you could probably even with FAT32 you could even store thousands, tens of thousands or even more. If you compress that on a 32 gigabyte stick you could do uh, thousands, tens of thousands of pictures here in this, uh, in such a card, but obviously you have to arrange them in uh, separate folders of up to 
only 999 photos uh, maximum that's a huge uh, disadvantage and a really big restriction here also what i found here the mount here in the back if you don't wanna use the wall mount but instead uh, putting it on a desk this looks like very complicated or like a little bit strange here's the thing which we are using and we have to align the thing here and then use the screw there's a little bit of a, a, a strange thing here and we cannot even adjust the thing i mean usually uh, i expect much more from a stand for such a high price device at least something where we can adjust the angle like how we want to put it on a desk at least we get a nice screw here that's the thick thing here it goes through this hole and then we have to uh, align it here i'll show you that a little bit from the side so it's easier to see that's definitely not difficult but uh, yeah it's definitely not very flexible is it sturdy yeah probably enough so let's attach the power the power goes into here on the back yeah i almost forgot to add the images i've put uh, i think a couple of hundreds of images here uh, on this stick and now let's put it here and flip it around again and so we already have an image and it doesn't look too bad i would say i mean the image is nice we can even make it better when we remove this thing that's not a huge difference but i mean it's a beautiful screen yeah no question about that so let's try how this uh, remote control works we have to put this thing or pull this outside and uh, it's turned on automatically i mean we have this on off uh, i think the receiver is down here but looks like it's not working maybe the battery is not good anymore by the way the battery adds lithium it's a 20 25 cr2025 which is rather rare yeah, that's not so good. Why didn't they use the 2032? Yeah, I took the battery out, tested it and reinserted it. It has some power left, but definitely not much. And it will be difficult to get it. I mean, you can buy these batteries, but they are expensive. And it's not the real standard uh, button cell battery. Let's hope that we can do something. I've tested a little bit and it worked some a little bit but you can see how hard this is to do anything here i have managed to uh, to use the on off button once but that was about it so i'll use the thing the control in the back but it's not going to work when you have it mounted on the wall so i go to photos i have photos usb here and uh, we can see the folders here that's a test and i have my own uh, folder here and so let's see what we can do we have six pages of images let's start with the first one you have just started or clicked on the first image and now it's playing all the images here right away yeah uh, probably in the settings i could change this but it's not possible here i mean i'm not going into all the options of course you can change the time how fast you want to move this or let move the thing i mean the image quality that's the most important thing here that's really good let's uh, turn it a little bit to the side and see how good we can uh, see that yeah it's a little bit limited you can see that it doesn't have the very best viewing angles but it's not bad i mean the brightness everything clarity i would say yeah it's it's a nice uh, thing uh, definitely it's really uh, beautiful to watch especially if you have uh, good pi pictures i mean these are not the best images i've just done uh, most of them with my uh, mobile phone here at the beach some are made with a little bit better camera but definitely no professional images but you can see they are really nice even the resolution even when the original resolution is not too uh, good uh, it's presented in a really good way i would say for the size sometimes these uh, picture frames are doing a bad job and they are slow and they are producing a lot of grains and uh, 
that's actually really nice here that's really beautiful you can see it's still mirroring you can see me here still in the back but it's not too crazy of course it's not really uh, a matte finish here but actually if you want to use this as a picture frame i would highly recommend to use like a, a, a gloss or a, yeah really something which is at the end of course then mirroring but it's making the images looking much more beautiful let's turn it to this side it's probably same thing you can see that still here from the side you can see the image uh, but definitely not so good as soon as you turn it a little bit to the side there is definitely much interference then or much uh, mirroring and uh, not so good anymore but overall i would say yeah the quality is really good it's it's fast and uh, especially really the image image is good so far so good but there are many many things which are not so good i mean yeah the battery remote control and then the stand in the back i mean you have it like this i mean this is what you get you have no choice to lean it uh, more to the back or have it more straight or whatever you want to do i mean it would have been really nice if we had like a normal stand which is similar to a computer monitor stand uh, that would have been much better much easier you can see in some of the pictures when you have a lot of black then of course it's highly mirroring but uh, yeah maybe that's the sensor here which is then turning it on i'm going to test uh, that maybe that's maybe something which you're interested in yeah since i found the menu here on the back i wanted to show you that what we have like uh, different uh, languages then we have the slideshow time we can go up to 60 seconds three minutes five minutes 15 minutes one hour two hours that's crazy <laughs> six hours with the same image 10 hours 12 hours yeah, that's the maximum 24 hours or the fastest is three seconds slideshow mode on off random blocks stretch edge you can see uh, depending on the format of the image it will then uh, do a different effect to uh, make it fit to this size here repeat mode one of random sequence yeah that's not bad here display mode automatically or original size full size of time you have the motion sensor uh, like a uh, one minute five minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes 30 minutes is the longest with the motion sensor i'm trying with one minute brightness is in 50 percent we can increase contrast saturation auto power auto play restore factory default that's it can have also video let's also try the thing here in a test we have this i think we have this which came uh, already with the picture frame yeah i had to stop this thing it was crazy loud yeah i don't know why this has to start on the loudest setting and without the remote control it was not possible to turn the volume down so i had to restart the whole thing yeah, the last thing which i'm going to test is the automatic mode here so i'm leaving the room let's see if it turns on and when i come back then if it will turn on again so yeah it was turned off and i entered the room and um, yeah the image came back okay so seems to really work and I was coming really from the side, totally from the side, and it looks like the sensor is really doing a good job here on detecting when somebody is coming, entering the room. But overall, again, I would say, yeah, for this price, there are so many things which are lacking here as well. As uh, One thing which I really, really miss here is the uh, option to have something uh, wireless uh, like wireless transmitting images or to access like a cloud storage something like that so you could sit on your pc move some images to a folder online in cloud and then uh, it would be played from there that's something which we would expect i think in 2021 I mean the image itself is good but this is something which we rather would have expected maybe 10 uh, 15 years ago and this is definitely not state of the art i mean it's difficult to find something better but you have options to make something on your own if you are a little bit tech savvy you can easily 
do something much better for a lower price. But if you prefer it to have it convenient, take it out of the box and put it somewhere, put a, a couple of images there, then you're good to go with this thing. And uh, I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.